Hey guys and gals, this is Alden from the Mosin Crate. First things first, I can't answer any sales related questions like how much, where do I buy it, anything like that because YouTube will delete the video. But if you go on to rumble.com and search for The Mosin Crate, same username I have on here without any spaces between The Mosin or Crate, you'll find my page on there where I have the same video where I can and do answer questions like that. So this is a very, very small list of surplus rifles to review. Getting right into it, the top two rifles are Type 99 Japanese Arasaka rifles from World War II. Both of them have a completely intact mum. Before we get too far ahead though, let me show you the mums on these. Got the anti-aircraft sights on the rear sight there. And I'll show you guys the other side in a minute so you can see the series. Uh, this DOT 1944, nothing is matching on it. It is just a complete mix master. Uh, it's got some old pitting that was refinished over. I'm not sure what the backstory is. I'd, I'd guess it's probably a Yugoslavian capture rifle. We have an Extragoon 9130. This is a refurbished. I like this one because the import marking is on the muzzle and it doesn't have that huge billboard import marking you're used to seeing. This Carcano rifle is from 1941. It does have a bit of a crack there behind the tang, but this one is not import marked. And it has a sling as well. And we have a 03A3 Springfield. This is a Smith Corona 03A3. This one overall is probably in excellent condition. And then we have a French Moss 36, which we'll get to here in a second. This one's dated 1928, and the serial numbers are refurbished matching. Moss 36 does have the bayonet. And it's in the original 7.5 French, which a lot of these were converted years ago by Century to 308 because no one wanted them in 7.5 French. It was a hard to find round and everyone wanted them in 308. Now it's the exact opposite. Everyone wants them in the original caliber, which this one is in. You'll notice these do not have the monopods. Sometimes, depending on the series, it may have the spot for a monopod like that, and it never came with one from the factory that has kept making those rear bands that had them. Um, this next group, top one, is going to be a Spanish Mauser. Then we have a Spanish Destroyer carbine below that. And the third rifle down that you're seeing right now is a Yugoslavian M2447. We have a M5966 Yugoslavian SKS. We have a Russian M44 carbine in the mummy wrap. We have a Czech VZ-52 semi-auto rifle. And then on the bottom, we have an Egyptian contract FN-49. I could not find an import marking on this Spanish Mauser, and it does appear at least all the metal that I'm seeing 
is matching. Not saying there's not a tiny import marking hidden somewhere, but I could not find it. And a destroyer carbine. I've never had one of these in before. This one, I believe, is a 9mm Largo. Yugoslavian M2447. This one is going to be an 8mm Mauser. Yugoslavian SKS. This one's going to be the 762 by 39 This is probably closer to a good shooter grade overall. Got the grenade launcher there up front with the folding bayonet. And this is a Russian M44 carbine. Now this one's still in the mummy wrap. The mummy wrap's in pretty rough shape. They imported these years ago like this. You see the bolts there. I'm not going to take this out of the wrap because I feel like the value to it is being left alone. But there's a tear here, so you can see that it's a 1948 Ishevsk M44. We have a Czech VZ-52. Don't think I've ever had one of these in for the channel. And then a refurbished FN-49. This is an Egyptian contract, and it is in beautiful shape. I would say very good to excellent condition overall but it has definitely been refinished or refurbished. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, click the subscribe button because I have cool surplus like this that comes in all the time. Thanks for watching.